my favorite travel art supplies and bags. Stay tuned. Today, I have a little video chat discussion about my favorite outdoor sketching supplies and how I package them. What I have found has been the best bag for small travel sketching. Think sketchbook size, think watercolors. Where you're trying to stay really light, maybe you're traveling, you don't want to lug a whole bunch around, um, then this is the video for you. I like to have an art bag that is separate from my regular purse that I take around and that's because I like to get ready quickly. So if I'm going to a brewery or something like that, I'll often go for the less stylish but very practical uh, art bag. I'll just grab it and I know I have everything in there so that I can sketch while we're out having a beer. I sometimes will take a couple of my supplies, like just sketchbook and pen and put it in my regular purse. But it's rare that I will actually get all of the supplies, including like a little water thing and, and ink and pens that could break and stain the purse. I just don't generally do that. So I specifically bought this bag to be an art bag. Uh, the brand is Bagalini and it was a really great crossbody size. And it has a pretty wide strap, so when it gets heavy, I always have a water bottle in there. It's not too bad on the shoulder, and adjustable, obviously. I just picked a neutral gray, but they come in every color. It's water resistant, which was really important to me. I want to, if I'm caught in weather, I wanna make sure that my sketchbook is safe. I think they're marketed as travel bags, so you'll have a lot of things inside that'll be helpful. If you don't wanna bring a wallet, you've got your little card pockets there and an interior pocket that you can uh, zip things safely shut there. And you also have a little key fob. Is that what that's called? You have a little hook here for your keys so that they don't get lost in the depths of your bag. And that's the main compartment, just one main compartment. So much space. We've got our five and a half by eight and a half moleskin watercolor sketchbook. We've got our smaller sketchbook. If you want to bring that along too, we clearly have enough space for the smaller moleskin sketchbook. That one's not moleskin, but you get the point. Here's my travel painting set. It often gets wrapped in paper towel if I'm anxious about it dripping in here. I could also very, very easily keep that in a different pocket to keep my sketchbooks safe. Seriously, full-size Nalgene will also fit in here. I was not joking when I said, there's truly room for anything you need, really. Pockets in the front. It has a button back to it. In the back pocket, uh, you could put something that you need to keep flatter. It's just got a button, but I wouldn't put your phone in there. It could fall out. And the button pocket in the back. I have a mask in there and a pen. Do we need a book? Do we need to bring a book? We can fit a book in here. I'm sure of it. We can fit several books in here. This is a small novel, but you get the point. Maybe I'll put that in the back to protect it. In the front, this is my favorite part. It has two pockets here, they're sewn, and they're separate from the main compartment. So I can keep my sketchbook in the main compartment, right? And I can keep my water 
in one of these front pockets and not worry about it ruining my sketchbook if it leaks. That said, I really shouldn't worry because I made sure to buy the best possible container. This is a Nalgene. It's 125 milliliters or four ounces. And it's really dirty right now. It's really <laughs> gross actually. I've left too much paint in there, so I'm going to clean it out. But I've used it a long time, a long time, and it cleans out pretty well. So this is a great amount for me. It has a wide mouth so you can um, wet your brush. I don't have to pour it into another container. I just work straight from here. But I keep that in there as well as any water brushes that I might want to use. So the, by that, I mean the brushes that contain the water in the barrel. And I'll put all the water in one pocket as well as my brushes. So here's my favorite little travel set, Princeton, four sizes, 10, eight, six, and four. It's called Princeton Neptune and it's a rose gold barrel and it pops out like that. So it's, they're very light um, yet they're full, full size. So they're Easy to use. I think they're supposed to be synthetic squirrel. I could be wrong. It is not too hard, I find, to reshape the tip with water in order to safely put it back in here without damaging the bristles. That was what I was worried about when I bought it, is when I recap it, am I going to splay them? And it's not that hard to keep them protected. So this is magnetic. It uh, seals shut and I keep that with my water in this side pocket. Here is my Nalgene water bottle, as well as my gorgeous travel brushes. I didn't say before, but they are all rounds. So in case you're curious about the, the actual shape of the brush. The other pocket, I will put all my drawing implements. So I have used and traveled with Lamy Safari fountain pens. They are solid and they're a great entry price point. My favorite though, which cannot be beat, and I only have one precious, Twisby, Twisby, T-W-S-B-I. And the reason this is my favorite fountain pen is because this is the ink. The ink is in the barrel and it's not just a tiny little cartridge. It is a lot of ink. So you can write with this, you can draw with this, and it's not going to run out when you're traveling, you're on a trip, you've got a long day. You don't have to stress about that. Whereas I have literally used the other ones. It's hard to keep track of how much ink is in there. And it's really sad if you run out halfway through a drawing and you didn't bring your ink with you to refill on the go, you know, that'd be crazy. So my drawing implements go in that side, let's say. Here's my travel painting set. It often gets wrapped in paper towel if I'm anxious about it dripping in here. I could also very, very easily keep that in a different pocket to keep my sketchbooks safe. Pencil sharpener if I'm going to be actually bringing along good old fashioned real pencils instead of my usual mechanical pencil. I'm going to put in this nope. <laughs> with the water. I've got two of those. And then I've got This isn't a calligraphy nib, right? It doesn't have, it's not flat at the top so that it creates a broad stroke. It's, it comes to a point. So this is a fine, but you can get extra fine. You can get broad, but it's just a point. And it allows me, um, it still allows me to draw thick and thin lines just by pressing harder, but it's not as expressive as other calligraphy pens or nibs that are that have an edge to them. Let me show you what I mean. This is a phenomenal set of drawing 
pens. They were very affordable. They are Sailor. This is Japan. Um, they have, so this also has just a point, but they splay really easily. They make really expressive drawings and it has a small barrel, sadly. So it's, it does just does not hold the ink uh, quantity that the Twisby does. And the green one, also a point, but very expressive. See how the point is bent? I don't know if you can see that. So you can get really broad lines. Um, both are dry right now, they're empty, but I will make sure to demo them in the future if you're curious. I'm just emptying my other, I've been going between two bags now, so. Everything's not in the one, but that's okay. As I said, water in one, water and brushes in one, and all of the drawing tools in the other. We've got a mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil with the added eraser here, just for longevity. We've got a Jane Davenport license to quill, permanent black ink brush pen is beautiful and easy to use. We've got a Micron PN and that's waterproof. My Micron pen, usually I'll put those face down so that way they don't dry out. They... And we've got a jelly roll for white detail. In the front pocket I have an assortment of mints. That's where I will put my phone, my gum, whatever I need, my Kleenex, and my snacks. So that's my little tour of the Bagolini art bag. It's a really good size. I shall demonstrate. So I actually just wear it over the shoulder. And it's never done me wrong. I find that this is the, the most, it's the easiest, most simple way for me to grab all the supplies I need in a second on my way out the door. I can always leave this in my car as well. So it's just there to grab whenever I need it. But it was recently my birthday and my husband got me this Konkin fanny pack. That's right. He laughed at me, he made fun of me, and then he bought it for me. And it's uh, amazing. I don't wear it as a fanny pack, I wear it as a crossbody bag. Let me demonstrate. So I'll, I can just wear it right here, especially if we're in a packed place, it's not hitting people and it's, you know, it's in front of me, it's safe. My wallet, my phone, everything I need is right here. So if you're worried about, you know, travel and, um, keeping an eye on your belongings. That is an awesome way to wear it. Obviously, you can wear it also <laughs> as an amazing fitty pack. So you just tighten the strap and then look how cool I am. Styling. So let me just step out of this. I'm very excited about this little bag because as you might have guessed, I don't necessarily need all this space. If I'm bringing a book with me and a water bottle, awesome. If I'm using, which I do, this is my Moleskine five and a half by eight and a half sketchbook. If I'm working in here, then obviously I need to bring my full size Bagolini and you could fit like 10 of those in there. It's really spacious. And I don't always need that space. So this I'm really excited about. It is perfect for not carrying as much around. So in the main compartment, I'm keeping my sketchbook. This is an Amolskin. I got this in Fredericksburg, Texas. It is Peter Popper Press ink. And, but it's like almost the same dimensions as the little Moleskins I usually use, watercolor books. So this is my, my real go-to when I'm out and about because it's small, you can get a sketch done way quicker. It's less obtrusive if you're nervous about opening art supplies and painting in front of people. 
some people find them, you know, that that's difficult to do. I don't care, <laughs> but I think maybe at one point ages ago, I might have been shy about drawing outside, but I'm, I really can't remember a time. I, even in high school, I'm pretty sure I just did my thing. It can get annoying though with people like asking questions or looking over your shoulder. So having a little more discreet size sketchbook helps just that little bit more. So this fits in here perfectly. I could fit several of these in here because it's very wide. Starting with a small sketchbook about three by five inches. It's excellent. You can still do verticals or landscapes. I don't know if I have any verticals in here, but you get the idea. If I wanted to, I could have a very tall something or other, maybe a tree drawing. Most of mine are landscape. I just really love that look. And what else do I have in here? I have my paint set. The case was a $20. It came with paint in it. Prima marketing. I put a sticker on the front, but I put my own colors in here. And wow, it's very dirty. I have not really used this, but it has this really handy like finger thumb holder here. So that you could hold it like so. It's pretty nice, right? I never use that. I just put it on the ground or on the bench beside me. I don't like holding things. But if you would like to hold things, if you're standing and doing a drawing, voila, great solution. And it flips out, so that's another thing I really enjoyed. You know, you have a lot of mixing space. This, if you don't, if you're painting, and you don't clean it up with a paper towel before you close it, obviously if it's really wet, there's a lot of paint in there, it will leak. And I'm not keen on that happening in my new bag. I don't really care about the old one. I think I just throw it in there. Watercolor. Anyway, the paint case fits in there nicely. There's a pocket back here if I wanted to, um, I think that's where I would put maybe my wallet or something that I needed to stay kind of safe. It's okay. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't leak. Since this is the only pocket that will really fit that large water, it's going in there. Water. look in the front. So I have a large phone. I have an iPhone 12 and it fits well in the front pocket. It does not fit in the back. That would have been nice. I don't care. It fits in the front pocket with say hand sanitizer. Apparently mints and breath things are important when I'm doing art on the go. Hand cream, Kleenex, lip chap or chapstick, whatever you want to call it, lip gloss, something is always in there usually. Because I live in Texas and it's very dry and I'm actually wrinkling right in front of you now. And by the time we're done this video, I will be a raisin. So anyway, in the back is where I was keeping all of my writing things. So all of the pens and pencils were in the back. Pens, pencils, jelly roll, all in the back pocket. The opening, the zipper part, that's the only challenge here is it's just a little, but it, once you get them in the zipper, you're fine. Probably won't take this. Don't need it if I've got the mechanical pencil. In the front. Oh, water brush, just in case I can't bring out the big Nalgene um, in a certain situation, at least I can have my water in the brush. 
Make sure to have a paper towel or something to control your water. I used to keep a bandana, but I lost it. It's substantial, obviously. Has a thinner strap, so it might get a bit more sore on your shoulder. But it contains everything I need. If I'm just going to go for a walk, and I don't want to take a crazy amount of stuff. And my first thought when I wanted this and really was puzzling through, am I going to get use out of it? Was what about the water bottle? Because hydration is very important to me. I work out every day and I really need to stay hydrated as we all do. But I found a company that actually has water bottle, water bottle holders that you can slip onto a belt like this for a fanny pack, or obviously you can clip a Nalgene just to the side here. It's very strong, so I'm not too worried about water. It just won't be, the water bottle won't be inside the actual bag. And that's that. Thanks for checking it out with me. If you go and you look at my art video on the plein air willow, you will see my art bags with me and all of these supplies in action. <laughs>